Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the video. I hope everybody's day is going great. Mine is. And today we have some serious stuff to talk about. Blizzard is definitely in an interesting spot right now. They're being called out by a lot of people. Basically, the situation right now is that stage four of the Overwatch League will be played on a patch that was deployed for only two days. Now, this is a major issue for multiple reasons. Everybody is complaining about it. Most of the community, players, coaches, viewers, just everybody literally is upset about this right now. And Blizzard must do something. We're going to be discussing all the issues and how you guys can help fix it. First though, real quick, we're going to cover an exciting announcement coming out from the Overwatch League. The Overwatch League Grand Finals has just been announced to be in Brooklyn, New York at the Barclays Center, guys. Absolutely amazing. This isn't the only thing that Blizzard announced though. The Overwatch League Finals will be held in a very awesome format. I am super excited about it. We're going to cover exactly how the finals will work, guys. Then we'll get onto the main topic of the video, which is what the hell is Blizzard doing with the Overwatch League patch? And if you're new around here, guys, do not forget to click the subscribe button, click the like button. I upload content like this every single day. Also, everyone waiting on the giveaway for the Overwatch League jerseys, just stay tuned. I'm going to be uploading a video soon where I pick all the winners, so you'll know soon if you want or not. And one last thing, guys, I am live on Twitch right now, so if you want to come watch me play Overwatch, it's hilarious. The stream is mainly for entertainment, comedy stuff. You'll have a great time. Come check it out. Link is down below. And let's go ahead and hop into this video now, guys. All right, guys. So if you haven't heard already, the Overwatch League Grand Finals are headed to New York. Today, Overwatch League announced this and they put out an amazing promo. Let's go ahead and play it real quick. Absolutely awesome guys. What a hype video. I cannot wait and yes before you guys ask I am going 100% I will be there and I will do my absolute best to deliver the content you guys want So inside the announcement they said this we are pleased to announce the location and how to get tickets for the Overwatch League Grand Finals at Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York on Friday and Saturday, July 27th through 28th. They also announced everything you need to know for the full playoffs. Season playoffs begin Wednesday, July 11th at Blizzard Arena, Los Angeles, including the top six teams from each division, plus the next four in the team standings. Over July 11th through July 21st, these six teams will whittle themselves down to two setting up an epic grand finals showdown. Now we knew most of this, but what Blizzard just dropped on us is absolutely insane and I am so stoked for this. They said the final two teams will face off at Barclay Center in a best of three series, with the winner being the first team to win two best of five. The first match will be played on Friday, July 27th at 8 p.m. Eastern. The second and third, if necessary, matches will start Saturday, July 28th at 4 p.m. Eastern. All right, just for those of you that might be a little bit confused, there is going to be more than one best of five. It's not a best of three. On Saturday, they will play one best of five. Whoever wins this will be up in the series or the total series 1-0. Then they will play another best of five on Saturday. If that team who won the one on Friday wins this best of five, they will have won the total series 2-0. If not, then they will go to a third series and play another best of five. It's absolutely insane. I'm so happy Blizzard decided to do this format. It's pretty much unheard of inside of esports. It gives both of the teams plenty of opportunity to adapt, to change their strategies from the first set to the second set and the third set. Oh, it's so amazing. And it makes the grand finals even more epic. It's not just a one day event, one best of five. If you compare it to something like the League of Legends World Championships, where they end up just playing one best of five at the end of the day, compare that to this. You're no matter what, 100% going to get the best team to win. There's no way around it. The best team will win this. There is guaranteed that you will play at least six maps even if it's a 3-0 on the first day and a 3-0 on the next day. That is more than you'll get in a best of five, more than you'll get in a best of seven. You're guaranteed six maps and probably more than six. I'm pretty sure in the finals, both teams will be able to win at least one map. So we're going to get a ton of maps and it will guarantee the best team in Overwatch League. So I am extremely excited. If you guys are looking at getting tickets, the normal playoffs July 11th through July 21st will be held at the Blizzard Arena. You can purchase tickets on May 10th at 9 a.m. at access.com, A-X-S.com. 
Tom. For the grand finals at the Barclays Center, tickets will be on sale Friday, May 18th, 10 a.m. Eastern at Ticketmaster.com or BarclaysCenter.com. So this is overall just insane hype. I'm super excited. Now let's move on to the main topic of the video, guys. All right, so if you guys browse the competitive Overwatch subreddit, then you'll probably know what has been going on the past couple days. There has been a ton of Reddit threads complaining about the situation, but let's take a look at this specific one, which was probably the biggest and made everyone aware of the situation. It's titled, Message to the Devs. Overwatch League Stage 4 cannot be on an obsolete patch. Shout out to Brendan87 for making this post. He said this, Sorry to belabor the point even further. I know there's been a few threads on this already. I think a big part of the decline in viewership was the disconnect between the meta Overwatch League was being played on and what players were seeing in-game. Speaking for myself, as a viewer, I want to watch what the pros can do with the same tools I have at my disposal. Part of what made Overwatch League so great to watch is the ability to see something in action in its idealized form and then trying to replicate it in game, however futile that may be sometimes. The Hanzo rework and especially the Bridget nerfs are game changing to put it lightly. The meta is very much in flux right now and your audience is tuning in to see what works and what doesn't. If the new stage is on an obsolete patch, people will tune out. I understand the concern for players not getting sufficient scrim time on a recently released patch, but the audience is the cornerstone of your success and you risk losing them over a few days lag in a five week stage. So this was one of the biggest posts on this situation. It has about 3,200 upvotes. And real quick to talk about his point about pro players might not be happy with this because they didn't get much practice. Pro players spend a lot of time in ranked and you think they wanna play ranked against a Hanzo and a Bridget that is not in the game that they play professionally? Hell no, they wanna play the same game in ranked as they do in scrims and on that stage because ranked is just another source of practice for them it makes no sense for them to have to play it and play against a hanzo and bridget that is not the same and now let's talk about my situation and how it affects me it's kind of similar to him and a lot of you guys but in an opposite way as somebody who hasn't really played the game too much in the past i don't know five months since overwatch league has came out for me it's really hard to log into the game and play because my mindset for at least you guys in this YouTube channel is 100% Overwatch League. I watch all the games and I don't just watch. I look at the game. I think about it analytically. I look at the comps. Why are people playing certain things? What's good? What's bad? And that makes it very hard for me to log into a game and want to play it when I have no idea what's going on. I literally logged in multiple times and I was like, why is Reaper moving so fast in Wraith? Sure, it's my responsibility to go check the patch notes and see what is up, but my mind is so focused on the Overwatch league i don't realize what's going on in game because i play like three games a month maybe even less so it's like two completely different games for me the overwatch league game and then the actual overwatch game which is very weird so that's the big problem for me right now and i know some of you guys might be going through the same situation if you like to watch the league more than you do play but the bigger problem is that a lot of people who enjoy playing the game on a daily basis find it hard to tune into the overwatch league because the heroes that they're playing in game are not being played in the overwatch league so it's kind of confusing and they don't understand and that makes them not want to watch which is a major issue for the overwatch league and blizzard so here's a second post that was made this morning and this guy also makes some really good points let's go ahead and read what he had to say it's by Guerrero sukoto the title is this is there any way to amplify our message that running stage four on may 1st patch will be miserable and in doing so get blizzard to change it because as it stands right now, the entirety, emphasis on this guys, the entirety of stage four will be played on a patch that was live for just two days. That is the biggest issue. I don't see how this benefits any of the parties involved at all. It's obviously going to be a huge disconnect for the viewers when they see a Hanzo scatter arrow four weeks after it's been changed for an entirely new ability that they were excited to see in tournament, but will have to wait a whole nother month to see. I can't imagine the players see agilities, hydration, who are currently grinding Hanzo on ladder right now are too keen on going back to an obsolete patch after about a week of experience already. So who does this help? I can only see it certainly hurting fan engagement and can at least speak for myself when I say Overwatch League lagging this far behind, the actual game is only going to make it lose interest faster, especially when the current version went live before stage three even ended. So is there any way those who agree with me can reach out to the Overwatch League 
if not asking for a change for at least an answer. Now, this is why I'm making this video, guys. This is the biggest reason I want everybody to know about this. I know a lot of you guys don't go on Reddit. Most of you just like to go on YouTube. So this is my way of getting this out. In response, yeah, who is a coach for the Florida Mayhem, he said this in the comments. The Overwatch League team is very aware of this issue. Both players and teams have been talking to them during the break. There's nothing more to be done besides wait for them to make a final decision after their discussions. Given that there is still discussions going on, there is still a chance that new Hanzo is added for stage four. All right, so that's good. Blizzard knows what the issue is. They're talking about it. They're discussing it. Hopefully they side with us, but there's still something we can do guys. There's a petition out there that somebody posted. Every signature counts and it will show Blizzard how many people actually care about this and that it must change no matter what. So the petition will be down below. I will pin it in the comments. It's very easy. All you have to do is click the link enter your name, whatever, whatever information it asks, click sign this petition. Then it's going to ask you a bunch of dumb stuff. Just click skip and then close it. After you click sign, you are signed in. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Be sure to sign the petition. Also, this isn't the only video coming out today. I'm going to be posting another one tonight. I'm starting a new series on this channel. It is going to be titled, how can blank team make the Overwatch League playoffs? So basically this video will cover anything and everything a certain team, say like Houston Outlaws, can do to make the overall playoffs during stage four. What the maps will look like, how it will favor them, how it won't favor them, what opponents exactly they need to beat, what opponents they can afford to lose to, what the meta looks like for them, just pretty much anything and everything that is going to happen for them in stage four that they need to do in order to qualify. So let me know if you guys are excited for that. Also yesterday, I posted it in the comments asking you guys if I should make a video on how to pick up Overwatch e-girls. And actually I got a lot of upvotes on it. It seems like you guys want to see that. So let me know one more time if you guys want to see that down in the comments because I want to be able to upload more types of content on this channel not just you know Overwatch League related stuff I want to upload you know entertaining comedy videos that you guys will be able to enjoy and laugh at because honestly that's my true personality if you guys have ever tuned into my stream which by the way again I am live right now so if you haven't go check it out I'd like to have fun I like to mess around joke around I take the game seriously but I don't take them that serious my main objective is to make you guys laugh entertain and pretty much just act like an idiot because it's fun why not so go check it out guys and if you enjoyed this video do not forget to like it subscribe to my youtube channel sign the petition and that's pretty much it guys i'll see you tonight peace